हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज विवेक सर एंड वेलकम टू आवर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज एसिड बेस एंड सॉल्ट चिल्ड्रेन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो मींस चैप्टर वन यू हैव रीड अबाउट हाउ दिज एसिड एंड बेस रिएक्ट एंड फॉर्म साल्ट ओके नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू रीड अबाउट द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एसिड एंड बेस क्लियर चिल्ड्रेन एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव टू रीड अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ सॉल्ट फॉर्म बाई डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एसिड एंड बेस क्लियर चिल्ड्रेन नाउ चिल्ड्रेन इन क्लास नाइन्थ यू हैव रीड दैट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एटम फॉर्म डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ कंपाउंड ओके with different nature so on the basis of their property compound are classified into three parts which are acid base and salt okay children now indicators indicator are substances which indicate whether the solution is acidic or basic by changing their Please note it down, children, by changing their color. Okay, so indicator are those substances which indicate or which decide whether the solution is acidic or basic by changing their color. For example, children, suppose in this beaker an aqueous solution is filled, and we have to check it that which solution is given in this beaker. Okay. Now, take a indicator and dip in it. Clear? We will take a blue litmus paper and dip in this big. Now, if this blue litmus paper turns a red color, it means this solution is acid. Clear, children? Now, only with the help of this indicator, we have. Identify that this is acidic in nature. Clear, children? Now, second point is types of indicators. See, children, as there are commonly many type of indicator, but in this we have to read about natural indicator and synthetic indicators. Okay? See, natural indicator, those indicator which we obtained from natural resource. that is known as natural indicator clear for example litmus turmeric red cabbage etc now one by one we are going to read how these indicators tell us that the aqueous solution is acidic or basic by changing their colors litmus children are which found in purple color so it is found in two colors that is red and blue and acid turns blue litmus paper red note children and a base turns red litmus paper blue clear children if blue litmus paper turns red that will be acidic solution and if red litmus paper turns blue that will be basic solution clear children now red cabbage there is also indicator red cabbage which found in purple color if this indicator turns reddish then that will be acidic solution and if this indicator turns greenish that will be base okay now third indicator is turmeric which is found in yellow in color if it turns reddish brown that will be basic solution children okay and it does not change any color with acid okay now we have understood that the natural indicator now we are going to study synthetic indicator children synthetic means those indicator which are prepared in laboratory that is known as synthetic indicator there are two type of synthetic indicator first phenylalanine 
and second is methyl orange. Phenolphthalein is found in colorless and methyl orange found in orange color. See how they decide the acidic and basic solution by changing their colors. Phenolphthalein found in colorless children. So it will remain same that is colorless when it put in the, the acidic solution. But it turns pink when it drop into the basic solution. Okay children, methyl orange which is found in orange color. So it turns red in acidic solution and turns yellow in basic solution. Okay children, and now we are going to solve the questions on the basis of indicator. See children, question, you have been provided with three test tubes. Okay, one of them contains distilled water and the two contains acidic solution and basic solution. If you are given only red litmus paper, we have only red litmus paper children. Okay. How will you identify the contents of each test tube? Children, you are able to understand the question? Now, see. Suppose we have three test tubes. A, B, C. Okay. And in this solution, one is distilled water and other is acidic solution and basic solution. And we got only red litmus paper children. And we have to check which beaker has acidic solution, which test tube has basic solution and which test tube has distilled water. Now see children. Firstly, we put the red litmus paper in all test tube one by one. Okay. If this red litmus paper turns blue in any of these then this test tube contains acidic solution okay children because in earlier i have explained that if red litmus paper sorry basic solution if uh, if uh, in earlier i have explained that if red litmus paper turns blue in color that will be basic solution okay now put the red litmus paper in all test tube. Termiter means one by one. The solution which turns red litmus to blue that will be basic solution. And suppose children we have put it this red litmus paper in all test tube. This, this and this. Suppose B turns red litmus to blue. And that is basic solution in this test tube it contains basic solution because it turns red litmus to blue okay children now now our indicator has already turned into the blue children okay because it turns red litmus to blue now we got blue litmus paper paper okay children Litm and the blue litmus paper formed a hair, ca hair can now be used to test the acidic solution. Now we got the blue litmus paper which is used to check whether the other two test tube which acidic or distilled water. Now put the blue litmus paper obtained above in remaining test tube. Okay. Now we will put this blue litmus paper in other test tube means A and C. If any of these change the color from blue litmus to red, that will be acidic solution. Okay, children, put the blue litmus paper obtained even in remaining test two test tube. The solution which turns blue litmus paper to red will be acidic solution. Okay, children. Now, suppose if C change the color from blue litmus to red. That means C in test tube C it contains acidic solution. Okay, children. Now the remaining third is test tube. The solution which has no effect on any litmus paper, it will be neutral and hence it will be distilled water. It means test tube A 
in distilled water because there is no effect of litmus paper either blue or red okay children now we are going to begin the topic acid okay first we read children physical property of acid see children acid have short taste okay okay acid turns blue litmus paper to red i have already explained earlier that children acids are corrosive in nature yes children the acid that uh, which are found in concentrated that which uh, that can change the color from uh, that will be corrosive in nature now acid can conduct electricity okay children it is because of that children acid contain ions okay due to the presence of ions acid can conduct electricity now acids are soluble in water mostly acids are soluble in water and produce more number of hydrogen ion okay children now we are going to study the definition of acid by arrhenius children see children according to arrhenius theory how can we say that which compound is acid see children those compound which dissociate means break into their ions which dissociate and give hydrogen ion okay children which dissociate and give hydrogen ion when dissolved in water see children when dissolved in water is very important and hydrogen ion so those compound which dissociate and give hydrogen ion when dissolved in water that is called acid let us stand, take an example to understand this hcl when it dissolve in aqueous solution means that is aqueous it gives h plus and cl minus when sulfuric hydrogen sulfate is dissolved in water so it gives 2h plus and so4 2 minus when phosphoric dissociate it gives 3h plus and po4 3 minus so we can see that children all this compound gives hydrogen and when dissolve in water it means these compound are acid is that clear children now children where does this hydrogen go is it move in all solution no children see so this is water children and when we add HCl, okay, so this HCl when dissolved in water, it gives H plus and Cl minus. Okay, children. So when HCl dissociate into the water, it gives H plus and Cl minus. But children, H plus do not exist do not exist independently. It combines with water which is present in the beaker and convert into the hydronium ion. This is hydronium ion. Okay, children. So, whenever the question is asked, how do hydrogen ion exist in water? It means hydrogen ion combined with water and produce hydronium ion. Okay, children. So, you can write in your copy. In H plus react with H2O, it forms H3O plus. And we can see children all type of acid they produce ions. That is why they can conduct electricity. So please note in your copy due to presence of ions. Ions means H plus ion, hydrogen ion. All acid can conduct electricity. Okay, children. And now we are going to solve the question on the basis of acid. See children, why do HCl, HNO3 like nitric acid, hydrochloric acid, etc. So acidic character in aqueous solution. While solution of compound like alcohol, 
ग्लूकोज डू नॉट शो एसिडिक कैरेक्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टूड चिल्ड्रेन विच टाइप ऑफ कंपाउंड शो एसिडिक कैरेक्टर सो आई टोल्ड यू चिल्ड्रेन दैट दोज कंपाउंड विच डिसोसिएट एंड गिव्स हाइड्रोजन आयन दे कैन कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड दे शो एसिडिक कैरेक्टर बट दोज कंपाउंड ऑल दो हैविंग हाइड्रोजन If they do not dissociate into the hydrogen ion, they will not show acidic character. Okay, children. Let us take an example to understand this. See, children. HCl. When it dissolves in water, it gives H plus and Cl minus. Okay. So due to presence of hydrogen ion in aqueous solution, it will show. एसिडिक बिहेवियर ओके चिल्ड्रेन एच एन ओ थ्री नाइट्रिक एसिड चिल्ड्रेन इट ऑल्सो डिसोसिएट एंड गिव्स एच प्लस एंड एन ओ थ्री एसिडिक ओके सो वी कैन से दैट दिस कंपाउंड वेन डिसोसिएट इन डिसोसिएट गिव्स एच H plus ion when dissolved in water. It means that this type of compound can show acidic behavior. Now, boil solution of compound like alcohol. See children. Suppose this is ethyl alcohol and C six S twelve O six. This is glucose children. Okay, but although having hydrogen children, why this compound cannot conduct electricity? and cannot show acidic behavior this is the question children okay so keep in your mind that when this solution dissolve in water this compound do not dissociate into their hydrogen ion okay so they do not give a hydrogen ion in aqueous solution okay children that is why this type of compound although having hydrogen do not show acidic character is it children now you have understood that only those compound will show acidic character if they dissociate and give only hydrogen ion now second question why does dry hcl gas see children this is a dry hcl it means there is no any contact of water with hcl okay now gas not change the color of dry litmus paper dry litmus paper okay children so please note in your copy color of litmus paper is changed by hydrogen ion by hydrogen ion and when compound produce hydrogen ion until when the compound dissolve in water but we can see children there is a dry hcl it means there is no contact of water it means this dry hcl do not dissociate and gives h plus that is why dry hcl cannot change the color okay children dry hcl do not does not contain hydrogen ion it is only in the aqueous solution that an acid dissociate to give ions is it children now see children a reaction of acid with metal it means what is the product form when metal react with acid children okay so keep in mind when metal react with acid it always liberates hydrogen gas okay along with salt okay now let us take an example to understand this suppose this is hcl A plus and a. This is metal, children. Now, in solid state, in aqueous solution. Now, break into their ionic form, H plus and Cl minus and a plus. Now, children, being a sodium more reactive than hydrogen, it displaces hydrogen and form. NaCl, okay. NaCl a plus. Now I have already told you 
hydrogen always found in diatomic molecule so it forms h2 clear children now we can see the product nacl plus h2 it means now the question children hydrogen gas okay balance it there is one hydrogen there is two hydrogen now balance it two hydrogen two hydrogen two chlorine two chlorine two sodium and two sodium easy children first example let's see second example h2so4 a plus magnesium see children break into their ion form h plus and so4 two minus mg two plus okay children now plus two and minus two will cancel children so it form mg so4 plus h2 is it children but children how can you identify that this is this will be hydrogen gas so we take a burner near this gas okay if this gas burns with a pop sound that will be hydrogen gas for example see children suppose this beaker contains acid hcl now add some zinc granules or you can take magnesium also in this after a while we observe that a gas start diffusing along with product we will take a burner near this gas if this gas burns with a pop sound okay children then this gas will be hydrogen gas okay now try to make the product you have taken magnesium plus hcl children convert into their anic form h plus and cl minus mg 2 plus now positive charge always attract negative charge children so it forms mg cl 2 plus h2 that will be hydrogen gas okay children going to solve the questions on the basis of this see children which gas is produced when sodium react with sulfuric acid first children this question is based on observation so firstly we have to write which gas is produced sodium clear children a plus sulfuric acid okay children now sodium is a metal and self this is a acid children see children whatever the acid okay when metal react with acid it always liberates hydrogen gas along with salt okay children so which gas is produced hydrogen gas now let us try to make the product sodium plus sulfuric acid okay children now change into their ionic form h plus and so4 to minus now this na plus positive charge always attract negative charge so it forms and need to so4 plus a hydrogen gas is that clear it means when sodium react with sulfuric acid it forms sodium sulfate plus hydrogen gas okay children second topic now see children reaction of acid with metal carbonate or bicarbonate okay so when acid react with metal carbonate or bicarbonate okay children it always form salt water and liberate carbon dioxide 
oxide okay children now let us try to understand with example first hcl gas metal carbonate we can take na2co3 okay children first we will read about metal carbonate and after that bicarbonate now see children acid metal carbonate dissociate into their ion form h plus cl minus and na plus and carbonate co3 2 minus now positive charge attract negative charge so children it form nacl nacl and now product is h2 co3 see children this is unstable compound to make it stable it converted into two compound as 2 and co2 so the product is sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide easy children now we can re see that when acid reacts with metal carbonate it always liberates carbon dioxide gas along with salt and water now see second example a sulfuric acid a plus magnesium carbonate okay children now convert into their ionic form h plus and so 4 2 minus this will contain mg2 plus and co3 2 minus now this will react and form now again there is h2co3 so i have, I have told you children carbonic is unstable compound to make it stable it will convert it into h2o plus co2 okay children now see children acid plus metal bicarbonate it will produce that is salt water and carbon dioxide let us take an example to understand this suppose this is hydrochloric acid metal carbonate and ah co sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate okay now convert into the ionic form h plus cl minus this will convert into na plus hco3 minus positive charge attract negative charge so it forms nacl now children h plus hco3 hydrogen 1 and 1 2 so it form h2co3 i've already told you children this is unstable compound so to make it stable it converted into h2o and co2 now we can see that the product is same and whatever we have taken with metal carbonate okay now second example h2so4 plus and ah co3 okay children convert into their ionic form h plus and so4 2 minus this will give Na plus and H H CO3 minus. Now positive charge attract negative charge. So it forms Na2SO4. Now citrulline hydrogen 1 and 1, 2. So it gives H2CO3. So to make it stable, children H2O plus CO2. So children whenever the question is asked that what which gas is produced when acid react with metal carbonate or metal bicarbonate so you have to give the answer that it always liberates carbon dioxide gas along with water and salt clear now today we have already covered property of acid indicator and their types and the introduction of acid base and salt Okay, children.